there sure are a lot of villagers in Animal Crossing, so it's no surprise that the ones that live on your island are pretty special. That's why today I want to show you the totally normal villagers that are living on my island. Let me know in the comments if we have any matching villagers. Let's get into it. Now, you may think you recognize this first villager, but this is no ordinary Dom. This is Dom the ever-powerful being. After being called a crybaby one too many times, he decided to go through a bit of a rebranding, which you can see in his now constantly angry eyebrows. Just look at him go. And go. And go. And go. How does he not get tired? If I had to rank Dom the ever-powerful being, I'd rank him the number one villager on the island. Now, this next villager definitely ties for the number one spot on the island. Hey Goose, something looks different about you. New haircut? No. New clothes? I don't think so. Hey, it's that new ink on your arm. See, Goose is very easily influenced, so when Tom Nook got back from prison and everybody saw his brand new prison tats, Goose knew exactly what he had to do. So, he went to Bob, but sadly, Bob fell asleep halfway through giving him the new tattoos, and the rest is history. We recently had an incident on the island that led to one of our residents ending up in prison. We, uh, won't name any names. But the villager that you see before you was the one who snitched. They've asked for their own safety to have their name redacted and have their face pixelated. So, we've complied. Don't worry, Anonymous Penguin, your secret is safe with us. If I had to rank this guy, I would rank him tied for the number one villager on the island. Wait, is that rolled? 2012 called, and it wants its Marshall back. I recently went on a little bit of a bender, going time traveling, trying to find some good turnip prices. Long story short, I ended up in 2012, where I decided to go Nook Mile ticket hunting. There, I found him, 2012 Marshall, with his beautiful Cookie Monster snapback and the LOL at your swag shirt. There's nothing that I love more than a 2012 Marshall. <laughs> Just don't let Goose see him. God, he looks bad. If I had to rank this guy, he'd be tied for the number one spot. If you had to choose your most wanted villager, who would you pick? Sherb? Judy? I know who you wouldn't pick, and that's Negative Raymond. What do you get when you take the most wanted villager and invert him? Clearly, you get the least wanted villager. But hey, maybe people are just being a little bit harsh. I mean, it could be the terrifying, piercing red and blue eyes, or it could be his really weird color scheme, or it could be the fact that he's just not very good, but people really don't like this guy. But for me, I'd rank him probably tied for first place. Not the tier list, though. They, um... I rank him pretty low, like all the way at the bottom. Sorry, dude. This next villager is one that everybody knows and loves. <laughs> I'm of course talking about the Invisible Man. Was he a science experiment gone wrong? Someone born with a birth defect? Who knows? The only thing I know is that He's got to be, like, naked all the time, right? I mean, I know the villagers don't wear pants, but I don't know, this seems kind of weird. Um, anyway, not a lot of people know, but he's actually been in every single game before this. Look, here he is on the GameCube cover. Do you, you see him? Oh, and uh, here he is on the New Leaf cover. Or, wait, maybe he's over here? I, I don't really know. But one thing I do know is that I'm pretty sure he's listening to all of my conversations all the time. <laughs> I mean, I think he's behind me at any time because I can't see him. I have no way of knowing if he's there or not. I'm, I'm scared he heard whenever I was talking to Roald about that whole redacted name thing. I pixelized his face, but I, I just don't want him to get caught. I just don't. As many of you are already aware, I used to have an island full of clays. Clay Tom Nook, Clay Isabel. Clay's living in every plot. Now... 
Things have changed since then, but I won't get into that. This is the only clay that's still around. Okay, I'll get into it. So basically what happened was there was this clay volcano and it erupted and it killed every clay except for this one. It's uh, It's been pretty tough on him. I think he's got like PTSD or something. It's hard to even know which one he is. I, It's hard to tell. It might be this guy? I mean, they all kind of look the same. I, I really have no way of knowing. It's been uh, pretty tough on the guy. But he's just powering through it. And for that reason, I think I'd like to rank him my number one villager on the island. Well, it looks like that's everybody. Time to check the map and do a quick recap. First up, 2012 Marshall. He just goes to show you that no matter where you are in time, you'll always be able to find a friend. Dom the ever-powerful being. On the outside, he may look angry and have a terrifying world-conquering name, but just know that on the inside, he's a big sweetheart. Negative Raymond. He is one of the most kind villagers on the island, one of the best. But I'm succumbing to the tier list, I want my island to be Instagram worthy, so I'm kicking him off. Ah yes, you gotta love. What can I say about him? No really, what can I say, because I feel like I gave away way too much information. <laughs> the Invisible Man. I really don't have much to say about this guy, I've only spoken to him a couple times. I just can't keep walking around the island pressing A to find him. Goose. Well, let's just say Bob's not a tattoo artist. Sorry, buddy. And of course, we got Clay. Everyone you love is dead, but at least you're still here, buddy. Well, looks like that's everybody. Let me know if we have any overlapping villagers. I'm sure there will be quite a few. And with that, please enjoy this candid footage of the villagers walking around.